Hey everyone, Adrian here, Indiana Backyard Gardener. I am outside and it is cold. Today is Monday and it is the 17th of April. We had snow today. Oh, Zeke wants in. Hang on. Yeah, so <clears throat> this is my shed, if, if you guys have never seen it. I've only done a couple videos in here, but um, today I wanted to come out here because my husband was nice enough to clean it out for me, and we are going to definitely make this a, an area for me. So anyhow, stay tuned for those videos. Um, I just wanted to, I know last week I did not do a weekly planting series video, and I apologize for that, but um, you really didn't miss anything. Um, like I said before, there is always a window of uh, planting opportunity. So a lot of these things that are on this um, list for this week were definitely on the list for last week as well. So. You can still plant these things. I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm going to go over what we can plant inside, what we can plant outside under a single cover, and also what we can plant outside without cover. Zeke! I'm freezing in here and he keeps walking in and out. You're not coming back in. All right, let's get into it. So this is the week of 416 and we are doing a spring planting series. And this week we can plant under a, actually the only thing we are able to plant inside right now is the peppers, tomatoes, um, and basil. If you haven't started your peppers and tomatoes, it is a little bit late, but I do know that for the past few years we have had a very, mild fall season like sometimes all the way into November and maybe even December so it it would be risky but you could definitely still start tomatoes and peppers all right so indoors you can still do basil it's a little bit too cold outside right now for basil because it's all about the soil temperature when you're germinating seeds. It's not about how hot it is outside. It's not about, um, you know, the outside temperature. It's about the soil temperature, okay? That's what is the most important thing when you're sowing seeds. So outside under a double layer of protection, cilantro, sage, and thyme, okay? Now this, if, I, if you haven't been following the series, this is a series for like zone five, maybe through seven, more like five, six. If your last frost date is in May, the, the first part of May. All right, so under a double cover, cilantro, sage, and thyme. Under a single layer of protection, which is something like what I have here, the, um, the, mini greenhouses I would consider that a single layer of protection or uh, one of these you know four shelf like pop-up greenhouses single layer of protection um, beets bok choy broccoli cabbage cauliflower chives dill endive horseradish oregano potatoes radicchio, radish, rutabaga, salsify, sorrel, Swiss chard, and turnips. Okay, now this is based on keeping the soil warm and that's why you want to sow these under a single layer of protection. Without cover, you can put out arugula, asparagus crowns, carrots, Collards, Claytonia, kale, kohlrabi, leeks, lettuce, mosh, mizuna, mustard, onion, parsley, peas, raspberries have been able to go out for a while now, spinach, and Let's you can also do, um, 
if you are two to four weeks before your last frost date, okay, you can do um, watercress and wild bergamot, also catnip, okay? Um, if you're looking at flowers and ornamentals, and you're two to four weeks before your last frost, you can do bee balm, bells of Ireland, black eyed Susan, bluebells, calendula, cleome, echinacea, flower mix, grass, which is a blue grandma, lily blackberry, love in a mist, milkweed, phlox, shasta daisy, verbascum, verbena, and wheat. Okay, now if you are one to two weeks before your last frost, then you can do borage. This is outside now, okay? Outdoor sowing. Borage, cauliflower, celery, Chinese broccoli, cilantro, dill, kale, marjoram, sorrel, okay? Flowers and ornamentals, one to two weeks before. African daisy, alyssum, Ami, Bachelor Button, Carnations, Chinese Lantern, Chocolate Flower, Coreopsis, Flax, Forget-Me-Not, Ice Plant, Linaria, Painted Daisy, and Salbaglosis. Hope I said that right. If you are one to two weeks before the last frost date. Now, if you are one to two weeks after your last frost date. All right, this is for you guys in like zone seven, um, where you guys are have already started putting things outside a while back. So um, maybe you guys have already passed your danger of frost. Um, so one to two weeks after your average loss frost date. You can do amaranth, basil, beans, bitter melon, bok choy, cabbage, napa cabbage, corn, cucumber, edamame, fennel, lemon balm, mint, melon, okra, quinoa, rosemary, sage, savory, shiso, spinach, summer and winter squash, tarragon, thyme, tomato, and watermelon. Okay, this is one to two weeks after your last frost. Now, if you wanna do flowers and ornamentals one to two weeks after your last frost, you can do amaranth, aster, balsam, black-eyed Susan, broom corn, cape daisy, cardinal climber, castor bean, celosia, coleus, ornamental corn, cosmos, cottage pinks, cup and saucer vine, Cypress Vine, Delphinium, Dusty Miller, Four O'Clock, Fox Glove, Fox Glove, Hollyhock, Hyacinth Bean, Hyssop, Impatience, Lobelia, Lupin, Marigold, Mexican Sunflower, Money Plant, Moonflower, Morning Glory, Nasturtium, Nico Nicotiana, I don't know what that is, Orlea, Portulaca, Salvia, Scabiosa, Stock, Sunflower, Sweet Anne, Sweet William, and Zinnias. It's a long list, but that is your list for one to two weeks after your last frost. So I hope you guys are out and planting and also taking heed to the weather. Um, it is very important when you are starting seeds and putting things outside that you are prepared to cover those things up or to provide protection for those things because like today, last week we were in the 80s. It was super hot outside. Um, people were walking around in shorts and tank tops and then today, we had snow flurries and it is about 30 degrees outside. So in here, I'm in the shed. It is, it is about 46 degrees in here. So you know it's cold outside. 
So that's your list for the week, you guys. I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you guys are anticipating the beautiful weather that is on the way. I hope you guys are enjoying the um, the uh, planting series. If you guys are, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, um, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when new videos come out. It really will help my channel. It'll get it out there for the YouTube algorithm so that people will know, um, you know, hey, people like this video. So, you know, it'll recommend the video out for more people. So that's going to do it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for following. And until next time, the more you know, the more you grow. Bye, guys.